M-Modal Fluency Direct is the dictation system used with the EHRs at UK Healthcare. This WBT will guide you through setting up your account and using Fluency Direct at work. You must have a Fluency Direct account created by the UK Healthcare Service Desk before you can do this setup. Call them at 859-323-8586 if you do not have one. Fluency Direct is accessible on computers within the UK Citrix system. At this time, Fluency Direct cannot be used outside of our electronic health records. You will not need to log into Fluency Direct. It is attached to your Improvata login account and automatically launches and closes whenever you log into and log out of SCM or AEHR. You must be logged into either SCM or AEHR to do this setup. Log in now. If your account has been created, a floating silver control bar with your name on it will appear on your screen. If you do not see this control bar, or it is present without your name, call the service desk. Fluency Direct is an all-in-one speech and artificial intelligence powered solution that enables physicians of any medical specialty to conversationally create, review, and edit clinical notes directly in their EHR. This solution leverages natural language understanding technology for contextual understanding of the patient's narrative, which helps to improve documentation accuracy. The option of using your own device as a mobile microphone is just one of Fluency Direct's great advantages. The next slide shows two QR codes, one for Android phones and the other for iPhones. Simply open the camera on your phone and point it at the appropriate block. Do not take a picture. Your phone will automatically read the QR code. When a small tab pops up on your screen, click it to go to the app. If the QR codes do not take you to the app, go to your app store, search M Modal, and install the 3M Mobile Microphone. The picture is of an orange microphone. If the auto setup runs when you open the app, click Next and follow the prompts. Otherwise, the next few slides will guide you through the setup and profile training. Click on the Fluency Direct control bar and select Microphone Setup from the menu. Click the Microphone Selection drop-down and choose Link a Mobile Device to generate a temporary linking code. Open the app on your phone and click Get Started and Allow Permissions. On the third setup screen, enter the six-digit code that popped up on the computer. Click Done to link your phone to your account. You must do this once for each mobile device you wish to link. We recommend you change two settings to a safer recording mode shown to prevent corruption of your dictation. Click on the blue Advanced Hyperlink. Click on the line that shows a keyboard and the word Standard. Then select Hold to Talk from the drop-down. Scroll down to the bottom line that has a phone icon and lists Record and Standard. Click on this line and change it to Hold to Talk as well, then click Save. Calibrating the microphone is the next step to set up your voice profile. The brief calibration process is necessary whenever you change microphones or environments. It is also useful to calibrate if you notice your dictation text is suddenly less accurate. Calibration helps to improve accuracy by distinguishing the sound of your voice from the ambient noise in the background environment. To begin calibration, simply click on the Calibrate button in the Set Up Your Microphone menu box. Hold down your Microphone Record button and begin reading the three paragraphs in the black menu box. The text will highlight as you read through it. The calibration process requires a minimum of 20 seconds of your voice audio to properly adjust the gain on the microphone. Once the blue OK button lights up, your mic has been calibrated. Click OK to save the calibration. Profile training is completed one time only and is the last step in setting up your voice profile. Fluency uses biometrics to allow the software to begin learning your speech patterns, which will improve the accuracy of transcription immediately and over time. Normally, you will see another silver text box with the word Begin or Next after you have set up your handheld and or mobile microphones and completed calibration. If you do not see this option, simply click on the control bar and choose Profile Training, then click Begin. Proceed to read aloud through the next set of screens. 
They each have a brief sentence or paragraph with important information on how to utilize Fluency Direct. Read through these in a natural manner and speed. The screen should highlight and advance automatically. This usually takes approximately five minutes and is performed one time only. Come back to this training after you have completed the profile training. Next, choose your medical specialty. Choosing a medical specialty allows fluency to hone in on the vocabulary for your specialty. If you do not see the exact specialty listed, choose the closest category and then click Save. You can only select one specialty at a time, so if you rotate between specialties, you may change your specialty through the toolbar at any time. Once you have completed setup, if you are using the mobile microphone, it is advantageous to click on the gear at the top right and turn on both Show Toolbar and Background Mode. Show Toolbar activates the buttons at the bottom of your microphone screen. Background Mode allows you to continue dictating while using your phone to check messages or email for up to 90 seconds. It is important to note that if you have both AEHR and SCM open at the same time, you will have two toolbars. One launches directly on top of the other. Separate them by dragging the top toolbar to a convenient location on your computer screen. The microphone icon on the active toolbar will light up green when you hold the record button on your microphone. Prompt editing is essential to maintaining an accurate and trouble-free Fluency Direct profile. Incorrect terms stored in your profile would become more difficult to correct during future use. There are several simple tools that make editing effortless. These tools can be utilized in the speech box and within EHR notes. The commands select or correct followed by something in your text will cause Fluency Direct to highlight those words in the transcription. Simply dictate the correct term and the highlighted text is replaced with the correct word or phrase. In addition to replacing words or phrases, other commands, such as capitalize that, uppercase that, or lowercase that, may be used to edit the highlighted text. Fluency Direct is flexible and learns from any type of correction, including those made by voice, keyboard, or mouse. Another way to replace text is to select the incorrect word or phrase and then use the command correct that. The correct that command opens the dictionary correction box and offers alternatives to choose from. If you see the correct term here, simply dictate your choice, for example, choose to, or click on the option that contains the correct term. If the correct term is not listed here, dictate or type the correct term in the white box above the options. Fluency Direct will then learn the correct word. Other common editing commands include undo that, which deletes the dictation back to the last pause. New line moves the cursor down one line. This is a fast way to create a patient problem list. New paragraph moves the cursor down two lines. Go to end of sentence moves the cursor to the end of the current sentence, while go to end of paragraph moves the cursor to the end of the current paragraph. Capitalize that capitalizes the first letter of a word or phrase. Make sure you do not use the dragon command caps on. That will turn on the virtual caps lock and all subsequent dictation will be typed in uppercase. Terms may be added to the dictionary at any time with the command open dictionary or by clicking on the fluency direct toolbar and selecting dictionary. Then click on the word add. Typing the term will cause fluency to suggest a pronunciation by displaying phonemes. Click on Change for editing options. Choose the appropriate tab to edit the written form, the spoken form, or record the pronunciation. Spoken form allows you to associate the sound of the verbalized word with the written form. Record pronunciation will teach fluency the way you pronounce the word. The final step after recording your pronunciation is to select the category, such as medication, location, or name, for that term. Terms may be added to the dictionary while dictating or when making corrections by using the appropriate command. Note that the dictionary is essentially personal, linked to your profile only. The two main types of commands in FluencyDirect are text and key. 
Text commands can be used as templates, and key commands can be used similarly to dot phrases and also to recreate keyboard strokes. Text snippets and macros may also be saved as commands. Your commands are visible in the main window of the Manage Commands box. Click the Add button to create a new command. Every command name must begin with an action verb and have at least one additional word as well. Keep the names of your commands short and simple. Command names cannot include characters other than letters. Also, numbers in commands should always be spelled out. You may save templates as text commands in Fluency. Open the Manage Commands box and click Add, then select Text. Type or paste text into the Insert This Text box and save it with an action verb as the first word in the name. Fluency Direct allows the use of straight brackets to create editable fields as placeholders within text commands, thus creating customizable templates. There are field selection buttons on the mics that will move the cursor to the next or previous field. Selecting a field highlights the brackets and they are then replaced with your dictation. Pressing the Next Field button jumps the cursor ahead and highlights the next field. The Key Command option allows you to use the acronyms and dot phrases in SCM and AEHR with your voice instead of the keyboard. To use them in Fluency, you must save them exactly as they are in the EHR. This means they are case sensitive and must include every keystroke of the original. When creating key commands, Fluency captures every keystroke you make. You must type precisely the exact keystrokes used to call up the acronym or dot phrase. This example will create a command to expand my dot exam acronym in SCM. Ignore what you see as you type. What appears in the box will not be words, but representations of those keystrokes. Lowercase letters will appear here as uppercase, and uppercase letters will show the word shift in front of them. It is imperative that you type it correctly, as any extraneous keystrokes will corrupt the command. If you make an error, clear the Simulate Pressing box by clicking on its X and start over. Remember, command names must start with an action verb, and you must spell out the word dot. There are several ways to open the speech box. On a mobile device, click on the button with a word balloon. With the Olympus mics, press the uppermost button on the right. While dictating, utter the command Open Speech Box, or you can click on the silver control toolbar and select Speech Box from the menu. The speech box may be used as a workaround for dictating into other programs. Dictate what you will into the speech box and then highlight the text with your mouse and use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl-C to copy the text into the Windows clipboard. Then paste the text into an email or a Word document with Ctrl-V. The speech box will temporarily retain the last entry, so in case of a power failure or accidental shutdown, your text might be salvageable by clicking on Recall Prior Text. An active speech box may be hidden by clicking on the target icon in its title bar and then outside the box. This will allow full visibility of the EHR while dictating. To transfer the text, click where you want it to go in the EHR and speak the command Transfer Text. Abbreviations work just like acronyms in SCM. Open Abbreviations from the menu, click Add, and enter the abbreviation, for example, UK, in the original box, and the expanded text as the replacement, in this case, University of Kentucky Chandler Medical Center. Click Save when done. You can map the buttons on your device to your liking through Device Button Mappings on the menu. Note that it is best to not use the tilde key on your keyboard while in Fluency Direct. It will turn on the computer's built-in microphone. Scroll down to the four mobile mic buttons M1 through M4. Click on the name of the button you wish to map and select an icon from the list. Click the Command radio button and pick a command from the drop-down. Then click Save. Start the same way to map buttons on the Olympus mics. Select Device Button Mappings from the menu and click Add. 
Hold down the button you want to edit until its name appears and then pick a command from the drop down and click save. Text formatting options are available from the menu as well. Use this to set your preferences, such as having numbers at the beginning of sentences spelled out, having measurements abbreviated, using 24 hour time, etc. Online help is available by selecting it from the menu or by clicking on the question mark on each menu item box. This training has been brought to you by UK Healthcare IT Education. Thanks for watching. Our service desk is open 24-7. Call 323-8586 anytime.